On this channel, I like to challenge myself. However, in this video, I solved an Ivy Cube, which is listed as very easy, and I felt dumb. And if you also don't like feeling dumb, you should hit that subscribe. So to not feel dumb, I want to try something harder, like my day. Like this Rubik's Triangle. No tutorials can I solve this. Too f***ing easy. You know what? I'm feeling a bit smart today. Let's just skip all the zero IQ sh and go to the hardest one, the Gigaminx, also known as the Rubik's Pentagon. I know what you're thinking. How am I gonna solve this? There's one method that always works. It's called taking it apart and then sh yourself when you realize that there's a million pieces and you have no idea how to put it back. It took me two hours to put it back, by the way. All right, so that might have been a bit too hard, but just like a, a tiny bit too hard, like not very hard. So why not learn the Mega Minx? Jesus Christ, that was a long intro. <laughs> So when I first solved it, my approach was to solve the first layer, which was really annoying because you have to look around the, the cube for all the pieces. After that, I had no idea what to do. I wasn't even going to try and solve this on my own because why would I? Seven minutes? Mega Minx is really easy. Hey guys, before you try and solve Mega Minx, make sure you know how to solve the first two layers on a 3x3 as we'll be using the exact same steps. Hey guys, in this video we're going to be learning how to solve a 3x3 because I'm an idiot and decided to solve a Mega Minx first without knowing how to solve this. Basically, that video was targeted towards people already with a 3x3 knowledge, which I didn't have. But it was perfectly timed because I was planning on getting a 3x3 anyways, so then I went online and bought a GAN of an Pro. Just kidding, I got the cheapest GAN cube, which arrived in a ripped box with no accessories. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that the cube was cheap? I went ahead and learned the beginner method, which took a whole afternoon for me to do my first solve. And honestly, it's actually quite simple. And then, the obsession started. On the second day, I did a hundred solves. There we go! Contrary to the popular belief, you actually need to know calculus to solve it. Just kidding, there was no math involved. I don't know which idiot came up with that, but it's literally just a step-by-step -step process. But that's not what this video is about, so let's go back to... Wrong PLL, shit. Mega Minxes. Let's go back to Mega Minxes. So rewatching the tutorial made a lot more sense, and the steps were basically the same as a 3x3. For example, you do a cross, you build the rest of the pieces by repeating one algorithm like 50 times, and then finally you fix the top. Add a few extra steps in the final layer, but it's not very different from a 3x3. Yes! It's solved! In 20 and a half minutes! After a lot of practicing, my time got down to 8 minutes. However, to me, the Mega Minx kinda sucks. It's a pretty impressive puzzle to non-cubers, but for most cubers, Mega Minx is the puzzle that they usually stay away from, and it's not very difficult to see why. First of all, it's very difficult to turn the puzzle. Turning kind of just feels awkward because it's not easy to find a way to hold it. It's also very tedious to build the layers. On a 3x3, you only need to fill in 8 pieces, and the rest can be done swiftly with algorithms. But on a Mega Minx, you have to do 10 pieces on the bottom and 20 on the top. And that is the most time-consuming part in all cubes. Just my thoughts on it, you can disagree, but just remember, if you disagree, you're wrong. So, now we know how to solve a Mega Minx, and to be honest, I kind of hate it. <laughs> very optimistic ending to a video that I've spent four months working on, but hopefully it was more enjoyable for you to watch the video. My next video is probably my favorite video I've ever made because it shows me going from a complete beginner on a 3x3 to becoming sub 20. So if you're not subscribed, go subscribe. I hate this. I feel like I hate every single cube I make a video on.